Hello everyone, I'm River Fox, and welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. If you are new around here, then thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to click that like down below and hit that subscribe before you go. And if you turn on the notification bell, you'll always get updated of all my new content when it comes out. If you do subscribe, just drop me a quick message down below in the comments just to let me know you subscribed and you could be getting a shout out in next week's subscriber shout outs video. Today I've got the first installment of a new set of videos that uh, I'll be fetching out uh, over the course of the next couple of weeks. Uh, these are aimed directly at all the brand new players. Um, so all of you new players that uh, have only recently started, these sort of videos will hopefully teach you the very basics of things that you will need to do in uh, Fortnite Save the World. So, today's uh, video then is all about the basics of how to do your daily challenges. Um, as you will probably notice as you're going along in uh, Fortnite Save the World that you do get daily challenges. Um, every day you will have a new uh, sort of set challenge um, which are all on a uh, complete random sort of uh, scale. So one day you could be getting a search for teddy bears and next day you could be getting uh, kill 300 husks with a outlander or, or something like that. So this video is going to go through and sort of it, uh, explain for you how to do each of the daily challenges that you will get. Okay, for industrial construction sites, uh, which you will need to find uh, three of uh, for a daily challenge, um, they will look like this. They're normally these sort of uh, buildings with a load of sort of metal structures on them. Um, and literally with these, all you would have to do is you jump in here and that will be your, um, you know, industrial site found. And I've got to be honest, that's probably one of the best places to find an actual atlas. But there we go. Um, so that would be one of them. Um, and you would have to find a three of those then per mission um, or per day in order to complete that uh, quest. Okay, you may also be able to find your construction sites in a city as well as um, the industrial zone. Um, they are more common in the industrial zone, but uh, you can find them in the city as well. And again, they look like that with all that metal sort of uh, construction around it. Okay, for the uh, propane tanks, now when you have to find um, the propane tanks, you'll need to find 10 of them. Um, now this is what the propane tanks will look like. Um, and you will find these in all industrial zones. Um, occasionally you might find them in the city. Um, you might find the odd one, but they are mainly in industrial zones and you'll need to find uh, 10 of these and just destroy them literally like that you just smash them up and then that will count then towards your propane tanks um, of course there's another one over here so we just in that one bit there's three I found now already now another of your daily quests will be to find and destroy fire trucks now you will find these primarily in the uh, city uh, but you can find them in the industrial zone as well. Um, so if you do find any of these, then literally, again, all you have to do is just destroy it. And that will be your uh, part of your daily challenge completed. Okay, I do have another uh, fire truck here, which um, will be the daily challenge. Now, another daily challenge that you will have will be to build three radar towers. Now, you can either go into a build the radar towers mission, um, or you can do them in any other mission that you're in. Uh, you'll find the radar towers dotted around in any of the maps, um, and they will look something like this. I mean, everyone is different uh, 
different design but it will look something like that and literally all you have to do is build it all get all the pieces matching um, as to uh, you know which um, sort of piece you need to put in so say like that you know you fill in that and you can fill in the sides like I'm not going to go through and actually build it all for you but you would literally just match all of those pieces up and then when you get to the very top you activate the radar tower and then that will be one of your radar towers completed now another daily uh, challenge you will have will be to search for transformers now these uh, are probably the hardest to find um, because you'll probably only find two in a mission at most sometimes even only one um, but this is what they look like and again you just need to destroy that uh, with your pickaxe and then that will be that part done okay now your um, seesaws that you will need to find now you will only find them in suburban type areas and they are normally around the edge of the map you might occasionally get some uh, towards the uh, the center of the map but they're normally around the edge and you'll find these little parks like this uh, with all swings and uh, seesaws and everything um, so these are your seesaws and literally they are normally just one or two hit and they are destroyed so that is three of the seesaws um, you normally need to find six in uh, any daily mission so it's just a case of finding two parks and uh, and your seesaws will be completed because actually we've got a second park down here uh, we've got another two in here so that's five so literally you would only need to find one more in order to complete that daily uh, challenge now another daily challenge uh, would be to find and destroy 20 TVs now especially in the suburban zones you will more than likely find these uh, in pretty much every single house um, occasionally you might find them in sort of uh, survivor uh, shelters but mainly they will be in all houses um, and they will look firstly like this and you just hit it and destroy it now this is another one that you may may find uh, they're set in these like wooden cabinets um, and again you just destroy it and that is that bit done okay another daily uh, quest will be to let me just get rid of these uh, will be to discover suburbia locations uh, which are parks and restaurants now this will count as a park um, you just literally stand in it and then that will be that part uh, completed um, if you go into uh, other sort of suburbia locations or sometimes even the city then you can get things from uh, like the restaurants and things you can go to um, they will count as well for your daily challenges this is another park so this would also count towards the suburbia locations now you do have to find 10 suburbia locations and this is a restaurant that you can use as well for your parks and restaurants you can use this one now big shots here this would probably count as one of your um, uh, restaurants if you need to find them okay another one that you may have uh, will be discover rural locations where you'll need to discover three rural locations um, which are normally bunkers shacks and ruined houses um, now quite often in the maps you will have these ruined houses which are like this where they're sort of half falling down um, and all you would have to do is actually to go inside that building um, and that would then count just like that um, that will count then as being um, one of your daily challenges 
quite often you will find these arcade machines now that is uh, another a daily quest um, where you have to find five arcade machines and, um, and once you find the five arcade machines literally again just smash them one or two hits and that will be that part now if you do need to find garden gnomes you'll find them literally dotted around everywhere any map um, any map that you go into you'll find them dotted around sometimes in very peculiar places as well but literally this is what the gnomes will look like and you just either destroy them or destroy the uh, sort of racks that they're sitting on and that will then count towards your gnomes okay um, now you will have another one where you need to find city locations uh, you need to find eight city locations um, and for that you'll need to find police stations fire stations hospital parking lots or decks now parking lots are the most common to find and this is one of them and as you see there when them um, when you find any of these objects that um, are your your daily quests then um, they will always uh, give you that sort of uh, orange glow will appear around you um, when you have completed one of them um, and the same for any of your daily things you have to destroy like your fire trucks or or anything like that um, they will always have this sort of uh, gold sort of glow around it to show you that um, it is one of your daily missions now if you need to find your survivor shelters uh, they can sometimes look like this or they might be uh, like a big square sort of box you might find them up on the tops of buildings things like that uh, but this is one of your shelters and um, and that's what um, you don't have to do just uh, just stand inside it step inside and that will uh, count then towards your daily shelters now if you do need to find server racks then this is a server rack um, which you'll find inside your uh, survivor shelters or sometimes again on tops of buildings you might find them up there as well but server racks then uh, you need to find four server racks generally and, um, and that will be another daily mission and if you uh, need to find teddies for your daily mission then these are the teddies um, which you will find um, pretty much in all the maps again like the gnomes they'll be in random places but you can find them in pretty much all zones now some other daily missions that you may have um, is you may need to uh, rescue 25 survivors uh, one daily mission is called party of 25 and you will need to rescue 25 survivors in order to do that mission um, now when um, when you're going to uh, rescue the survivors you will have your general uh, six that you need to get to complete the actual um, rescue the survivors mission but there is a possible nine additional survivors that uh, that you can get so all you need to do is basically to complete two rescue the survivors missions and rescue every single survivor and then that will uh, complete your party of 25 daily quest um, and other quests that you may get now um, you can have um, daily quests of kill 300 husks as um, uh, with a certain weapon so it can be any weapon that you want to uh, to use um, any weapon that, uh, that you know um, that that daily quest says you should use sometimes it'll be a sniper rifle uh, sometimes it'll be a shotgun um, or it could be with an assault rifle 
you know it, it will tell you on the daily mission so that's uh, their self-explanatory um, you may also get kill 500 husks with a certain hero um, that may be a outlander a ninja a soldier or even a constructor um, again that's quite self-explanatory you just need to use that uh, certain uh, um, hero type in order to complete that daily quest um, you may have to uh, complete three missions as a certain hero which is literally any three missions that you like as long as you're that certain hero um, you've also got all together now um, now that is playing uh, three missions uh, with other people and to do that all you do is go on your map whether it be uh, Stonewood or Plankerton whichever you're, uh, you are in and it's always this uh, little yellow question mark next to your storm shield. Um, you go on that play with others when you click it it will give you um, three options you can either have quest progression um, which is where it will take you into a map that will match your current um, quest line mission uh, or you can go in quick play which you can then choose if you want uh, to go into a lower powered uh, mission you can't go higher than you you currently uh, are but you can go into lower missions or you can do custom which will let you sort of set uh, various different things but as long as you go into one of these uh, play with others three times then that will uh, complete that daily quest now once you have completed your daily quests you will generally get uh, 50 V bucks and you will also get 240 gold um, now the V bucks and the gold you can use in the item shop um, the V bucks you can use to buy uh, different llamas um, and your gold then you can use to buy various things from either the event items or the weekly items which update uh, every week so the weekly items will update for you every week and give you new items and your event items they're generally there for um, uh, like a season so in this case season 8 uh, so these will all probably change when we go into season 9 and, uh, and we get new new things in there so you can spend your daily coins in there and you can spend your V bucks either on um, llamas in save the world or you can still use them over in battle royale in the item shop there so that is how to do all your daily challenges um, I hope you have found this useful if you have then please don't forget to drop a like down below and hit that subscribe before you go and if you do buy anything from the uh, item shop either here or in battle royale then please consider using my creator code um, in the item shop and if you did enjoy the content, I hope you will drop a like down below. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe. But I hope you have a lovely day. And as always, until the next video, have a lovely day and stay safe.